Colorado Center for the Blind. Take charge with confidence and self-reliance. Thanksgiving 2017. In home management class, students have an opportunity to learn about what a turkey is like before it's simply a slice of meat on a plate. Let's take a look at our turkey. Hello. Who's over here? Me, Robbie. Hey, Mason. Hey, I used to live on a farm, so I So tell us about it. Then you come, come tell me about this turkey and tell me what we got here. Oh, here's the leg. Alright. I, I put them all in a row. Oh. Yeah. Okay, did everyone get a feel? Can you tell what the leg is? Yeah. Are these the legs down here? Yeah, it's almost feels like this. Mason, can you show Leah the leg? Yeah, but the the legs are like the drumstick feel thing. You feel a wing? Yeah. Wing. You can tell what that is, Robbie. Okay. Just take a hand to measure kind of how deep the turkey is inside the pan and just estimate it. And then you're going to use that to check inside the oven with your glove on to see if it will slide in there on the rack where it's at now. <laughs> All right, so now I have it covered. I'm going to put it in the oven. Okay, oh, All right, oven closed. Oven opening. <laughs> Then, after each class has done their part, it all comes together on Thanksgiving Day. Walking with a hot pan? Yes, please. I don't know. Sorry. Hands are in place. Maureen carries in two large hotel trays of rolls. Okay. All right, the room's filling up. Everybody's hungry. It's 12.30 almost. So I'm going to go through and explain um, all the food and the setup and how it's going to work. Um, but first, I think we really need to give a huge round of applause to all of our fantastic, yeah. amazing students. Yeah. Yeah. You guys have worked so hard on all this food, and now we finally get to enjoy it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go into the kitchen. So our first table is going to be our white meat turkey. Then it's gonna be the dark meat. Then we have two trays of ham. Then, not in a sterno, are two hotel pans of mashed potatoes. And then you're gonna to come to the last sterno at the very end of the service counter where the foil normally is, and that's the gravy. So you can smother all your meat and potatoes with the gravy. Then you're gonna come out where I am right now. We have an L-shaped table set up here. And then the first thing you'll come to is our two pans of sausage stuffing. Then you're gonna come to two pans of pineapple stuffing. Then you're gonna come to two pans of macaroni and cheese. Then we have one pan of cream corn. Then it's gonna turn to make the other side of the L. And we are going to get to two green bean casseroles. Then we're gonna to get to the first pan of sweet potatoes that does not have nuts. Your next pan is a mashed kind of sweet potato souffle that has nuts on top. Then you're going to come to cranberries. Then last, we have two pans of homemade yeast rolls. And then you're gonna to come to all the plasticware. At the coffee bar right now is just a gallon of eggnog and some cups. So underneath the small kitchen window, we have the Student Association has done some cheesecakes. And Leah can um, tell you what those are. Leah, what are those? On the far left is chocolate swirl. The middle is white chocolate raspberry. And on the far right is apple cinnamon. There are two hotel pans. The first one is pumpkin pie. Your next hotel pan is pecan pie. And then the next table to the right of the dessert table is a soda table. Now, everything does have a braille label in front of it. It's in grade one braille. And what's really, really helpful <laughs> is if the person that's in front of you in the line, just tell the person behind you kind of what's coming up next also. <laughs> the table one, let's come on up. The line forms and people start filling their plates. I like the white meat. I just like there's more flavor in the dark. Dan, are you filming? Yes. Oh gosh. <laughs> Awkward. Right? To learn more about the Colorado Center for the Blind, 
visit our website at www.cocenter.org or call 303-778-1130.